I hate that he's my father. I get that, darling. I hated that my father was my father. I don't want to be anything like him. No, well, you're not. You are nothing like him. But I used to want to be like him. I used to do all of these crazy little things. I know, I remember. Oh my god, maybe that's why Hope died. Maybe, what? Maybe that's why Hope died? No, Aunt Vicky, I was a bad person back no, then. No, you were no, not I was. a bad person, Star. And you are not a bad person. And honey, you are nothing like your father. Nothing you did contributed to your baby's death. You, she did not die because of you, Star. Aunt Vicky, I didn't want to be pregnant. Maybe that's it. No, darling, I just not. I wanted the chance to tell her. I wanted to tell her that even though I didn't want to be pregnant, that I still loved her, Aunt Vicky. I wanted that chance to tell her. But she I loved her. She knew. I promise you she knew. Maybe that's why I did all those crazy little things back then. It was because I wanted my dad to love me. He does love you. He does not love anyone, Aunt Vicky. Especially me. Oh, baby, you are so wrong. No, you don't have to get anyone. I'm not leaving them. I will, I will take a magazine, though. <clears throat> Thank you. Yeah, I'm dressed because, you know, I heard that gunshot, and, and I thought I was going to go check it out, but I didn't want to check it out my nightgown. <laughs> Do you know what happened? I still can't believe it. What? Dr. Joplin. She was such a nice person. She's dead. Why would somebody do this? Why would she do this? She only had three appointments today. The last one was with Star Manning. Tony, what's that? Are you all right? Hello. I'm Bess. Brody. Yes, I heard. Let me apologize for Tessa's inappropriate behavior. Are you all right? You don't look well. Yeah, I should probably go. I hope it's not on Tessa's account. Please, disregard everything that she said. Why is that? She threw herself at this man like a common prostitute. What about the baby? Nonsense. You don't think Jessica has the wrong baby? Of course not. I know that as much as Tess does. I was there when she gave birth. So you saw the baby? Yes. Tess gave birth to a beautiful, healthy baby girl. Thanks. Is that Michael McBain? He confirmed Dr. Joplin's final appointment. She told Star's family something about the baby's autopsy. Did he say what she told them? Something about the baby's blood. Something Joplin should have caught. So the baby didn't have to die. Is that why she killed herself? I'm not sure. But Michael said that Dr. Joplin made it clear that she blamed herself. Star, your father, flawed human being that he is, he loves you so much. I used to think that, but I don't anymore. Well, I do. I know it. He has loved you from the second I put you in his arms. I know. You told me that. Did I? Yes, when I ran away from Senora Lina and I hid in your attic. <sighs> Senora Lina, wow, I'd forgotten all about her. I ran away because I thought there wouldn't be room for me with the new baby. And you told me that you thought your parents would have been a lot better off if you had never been born because they had been having all these wonderful adventures and then they had the greatest wedding in the world. Yeah, and then my dad left. And I told you that it was in my attic that you two first met. And he was going to run away forever. And then he didn't. Because he was so happy. He does love me. Yes, darling, he does. Then why would he do this to me, Aunt Vicky? Why would he hurt me like this? Sweetheart, I wish I knew. I just don't think that I can get through it. Yes, you can. You can. You know why? Because you, you have so much love in your heart, honey. 
And that's how you're going to get through this. You're going to put one foot in front of the other every single day, and you are going to go on because you have so much love. Dr. Joplin is dead? I think it was a suicide. I have to go. Wait, are you sure? I'll get this down to the lab. Yeah, uh, let me know what you find out, okay? I better get back to Manning. You left him alone? Well, is it true? Did you have an affair while Blair was still married? You know, Marty John's right. We don't want to upset you. I think it's a little late for that. Todd told me you had an affair. He used it to make me feel sorry for him. I just want to know the truth. That's all I want to know, a little bit. Is it any of it, anything at all? Like everything else you said, that's a lie. End of story. Okay, I just needed to know. I just want to know the truth. Well, the truth is, Marty, I, I know how you feel. I fell in love with Todd, too. That's not the same thing. You're right. Uh, because I knew who he was and what he was. You had a choice. He told me lies and I believed them. Yes, he told me lies over and over again and I believed him. He didn't care about me. His wife, the mother of his children, all he cared about was Todd. What was important to him was that he got what he wanted. He hurt me more than anyone has hurt me my whole life. Maybe. But he didn't rape you.